Hello everyone, welcome to the video on RAS system. RAS system means renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This is a very important system which will maintain blood pressure and fluid accumulation in human body. Let's see the details in this video. This is my YouTube channel. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. Now, renin angiotensin aldosterone system, it all starts when the blood pressure is reduced. There is a special apparatus in nephron known as juxtra glomerular apparatus. The job of this apparatus is to check blood pressure. Whenever there is a decrease in blood pressure from the kidney, it stimulates to release renin. Renin is an enzyme which acts on substrate angiotensinogen. Angiotensinogen is in the blood plasma. It is released from liver. Understand these things. See, liver releases angiotensinogen whereas kidney releases renin. So, renin acts on angiotensinogen and converts it to angiotensin 1. Now, again, angiotensin 1 is affected by angiotensin converting enzyme released from lungs. Now, this enzyme converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. So, the final product of this system is angiotensin 2. It has got multiple effects. The basic effect is, the first one is increase glomerular filtration rate. How it happens? Understand this one. See, to the kidney, the blood is carried by efferent blood vessel and blood comes out by efferent blood vessel. Now, what happens is with the effect of this one, see, look at this. This is efferent blood vessel. Now, it dilates efferent blood vessel. So, more amount of blood will be coming up and efferent blood vessel is constricted. So, what happens? Pressure builds up enormously here. At the increased pressure, glomerular filtration rate increases. This is what depicted here. See, efferent blood vessel is dilated, efferent is constricted. That increases pressure, increases glomerular filtration rate. Now, what is the next, next effect? Next effect is from the proximal tribule, reabsorption of sodium is increased. Increased sodium reabsorption into the body enhances thirst, enhances fluid accumulation and blood pressure. This is the second effect. Now, the third prominent effect is it also stimulates adrenal cortex and releases a mineralocorticoid known as aldosterone. What is the function of aldosterone? It retains sodium and water in the body. So, these are all the three prominent effects of angiotensin 2. One, increasing glomerular filtration rate. Two, increasing sodium reabsorption. Three, releasing aldosterone and further increasing sodium reabsorption. So, this is what this system does. Getting into the more details, see angiotensinogen as we have seen, this is released from liver. Whenever blood pressure is low, renin is released from kidney. So, renin acts on angiotensinogen and converts it into angiotensin 1 which is a decapeptide. Deca means 10 amino acids are there. Now, this decapeptide <coughs> is affected by ACE. This is released from lungs, angiotensin converting enzyme and angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 which is an octopeptide. <coughs> now, this octopeptide will be acting on 81 receptors. Now, understand one more feature, the same enzyme, angiotensin converting enzyme also acts on bradykinin and converts into inactive peptide, the same enzyme. Now, there are important classes of drugs which will inhibit every step of this process. One, direct renin inhibitors, inhibit renin. Next one, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin con converting enzyme inhibitors, inhibit this ACE enzyme. Third one, ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers, block these receptors. So, three different classes of drugs are available which will block this pathway. One more thing. See, there is an independent chimase pathway which is independent of ACE enzyme by which angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2. So, even if we use angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, it will not completely stop the formation of angiotensin 2. This independent pathway will make sure certain amount of angiotensin 2 is released or biosynthesized. Moving further, <clears throat> now see these are all the prominent effects of angiotensin 2. There are three major prominent effects are there. First one, direct vasoconstriction and it is possible due to increased sympathetic stimulation. See enhancement of noradrenergic neurotransmission will be there. There is an increased NE release. Decrease in any uptake, overall sympathetic discharge is increased. So, released noradrenaline will be acting on alpha and beta receptors and alpha 1 effect is prominent rapid vasoconstriction. This is effect 1. Now, 
Second one is directly related to sodium reabsorption and this is possible by increasing the release of aldosterone. So what happens when fluid accumulation is increased in the blood vessel, the blood volume is increased and that also increases pressure. This is called as slow pressor response. Now <clears throat> the third one is related to cardiovascular structure. It increases afterload and ventricular wall tension because of that cardiac hypertrophy or remodeling may occur. So these are all the three prominent effects of angiotensin 2. A rapid pressure response, slow pressure response and cardiac high remodeling with hypertrophy. So these are all the major effects of angiotensin 2. <clears throat> See, angiotensinogen is present in blood. It is converted to angiotensin 1 by renin. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme. <clears throat> Finally, it will show all these effects. Now look at this. There is a drug called as aliskiran. Aliskiran is a direct renin inhibitor. It inhibits renin. Now ACE inhibitors, all of them end with prills. Captopril, lisinopril, enalapril, basopril, quinapril, ramipril, moxipril. See, most of them are prodrugs, but captopril and lisinopril, the first two are active drugs. They, they are active drug as such, but remaining all of them are prodrugs. They are in ester forms, they need to convert into acid forms to show the activity. Now, one more thing. See, enalapril, see all these drugs are taken orally. Enalapril active form is enalaprilat which is taken intravenously. This is the only intravenous drug available. So this is how enalapril is looked. You can see the structure. Here you have an ester is there. That is converted to acid derivative because of the enzyme esterase. So this enalaprilat is an active form which can be directly taken as IV form. So all these prills will be converted to prilats active form. Now, the next class is angiotensin receptor blockers. Sartans, losartan, valsartan, irbisartan, candisartan, all of them are angiotensin receptor blockers. When these drugs are used, what happens? Sympath <coughs> Excuse me. Sympathetic outflow is reduced. Vasodilation is increased. And sodium levels are also decreased. And final result is decrease in blood pressure. Moving further. Now, see, this is a broad picture of what happens with all these things. See, Juxtaglomerular cells will sense blood pressure. Whenever there is a low blood pressure, beta-1 receptors on these cells will respond and activate release of renin from kidney. It will be acting on angiotensinogen and converts it to angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2, which will be act, acting on <coughs> 80, <coughs> sorry, 81 receptors. And this is results in vasoconstriction, sympathetic stimulation and cardiac hypertrophy. Now, various agents, beta-1 blockers will inhibit the release of renin also because they are blocking this juxtagromular cell response. ACE inhibitors will block this enzyme. AT1 antagonist will inhibit the receptor response. This is the overall view. Now, let us get into the drugs and see what happens with all these things. See, ACE inhibitors like captopril, lisinopril, all the prills, they block the formation of angiotensin 2. They prevent AT1 receptor stimulation. They also reduce aldosterone production, so cause vasodilation. But they also prevent bradykinin degradation. This is what we need to understand. Bradykinin degradation is also inhibited. Whereas ARBs, all losartans, they also block AT1 receptor. Same result as angiotensin converting enzyme and BP mechanism. But the major difference is they do not interfere with bradykinin degradation. Next group, renin inhibitor aliskiran blocks the formation of angiotensin 1. Same result on BP, but they also don't interfere with bradykinin. See, I'm talking about bradykinin repeatedly because it has a lot of functions too. See, ACE inactivates bradykinin to inactive kinins. But what is the function of bradykinin? It causes vasodilation and natriuresis. It increases sprain. There is an increased vascular permeability, bronchoconstriction, prostaglandin synthesis. All of these effects of bradykinin. So when we are using ACE inhibitors, you will see all these effects. That is the reason why the major adverse effects of ACE inhibitors are angioedema. See here, angioedema. Increased fluid accumulation and persistent cough. These are all the major side effects. It is because of bradykinin. Look at them. See, uses hypertension and diaptic nephropathy and congestive heart failure. All these drugs can be used. The major side effects are dry cough with ACE inhibitors. <coughs> As I just explained. Hyperkalemia. 
and they may cause acute renal failure in renal artery stenosis and angioedema. They are contraindicated in pregnancy. In pregnant women, these drugs cannot be used. Now, see, this is a snapshot of all these things. So, the important thing is, see, when people are having severe cough, instead of ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers can be used because they do not cause cough. Why? They are not affecting bradykinin metabolism. So, bradi because of ACE, bradykinin is inactivated, so cough will not be there with ARBs. And this is a snapshot of everything. So, beta stimulation is what releases renin. It is inhibited by aliskerin, ramikerin. ACE enzyme is inhibited by all prills. Angiotensin receptors are blocked by losartan and valsartan. If you want to block aldosterone, spironolactone, epilinone can be used. And this is important one. Chimase is a non-ACE pathway by which angiotensin 2 is formed. So this is about RAS system. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Thank you for watching this video.